to your student <laughs> So I was just like walking through the student union building one time and I saw like a flyer for it. And I was like, I wonder if they'd like, like let me like as a little girl be Buster, I mean, I'm not a little girl, but like I felt yeah. like a little girl be Buster Bronco. So yes. I got a hold of one of my friends who had been like student body president and asked her like what, what is required? Like, do you know any of the Busters? Are they all boys? <laughs> yeah. She was like, I think they're all boys, but like you should still try it. And so she put me in touch with one of them and they said, as long as you like can run the mile and do enough push-ups, like, really? there's no reason you shouldn't be, and especially because I'm so tall. Go Sierra, so, I love I it. I wish you tried out. I did yeah. like a dance to Lil Nas X's um, Old Town Road was part of my of audition. Of course, and yes. I made it horses. on the team. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, when, <laughs> there you are, oh, yeah. rubbing Aww. cowboy pole. That's adorable. Yes. So when, and you revealed this just recently, that you were Buster, I imagine there were a lot of people that were like, like they see you, you're a former Miss Idaho, it's like, well, how surprising is that? Yeah, how she surprising to, yeah, yeah. was that? So, to... um, part of mas collegiate mascot culture is keeping it a secret until the day you graduate. So, you included, yeah. I was on I KTVB, no idea. KTVB is Buster Bronco, you and Larry yes. had no idea that it was oh me. Oh my gosh, and I was <laughs> hugging you, and didn't even know that was for so That was Buster. super funny, but um, I, yeah, revealed it the day that I graduated, and a lot of people were surprised. I did really good job me. keeping it a secret. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. Sierra, are you serious? You didn't yeah. even whisper in my ear, Maggie, yeah. it's Sierra. You know, or yeah. anything. Yeah. She kept that secret the whole time. So wow. do you travel with the team? What's it like being Buster? It seems like a big responsibility. Yeah, so it's a team of, um, so we, we're part of the Spirit Squad, so the cheer and dance team, and then there's the mascot team. So I was not the only Buster Bronco. Okay. Um, and when the team goes to away games, they usually take like, six cheerleaders or dancers and then yeah. one buster so okay. um we take turns kind of traveling and throughout nice. covid is very limited of whether or not the cheer yes. like mascots True. can travel but i've definitely done some away games three years of your <laughs> life you spent as buster bronco as buster. and uh -huh. nobody knew that must that must have been <laughs> amazing so yeah. what would you say to some future buster broncos oh out my there? god especially um, the young girls out there that want to be buster go for yes, it go Sierra for it oh my god it. yeah it's pretty fun honestly it was like pretty fun to like i don't know be someone else for a little bit yeah. and be like bronco nation's like best friend everyone loves <laughs> yes. you and you are like hands down the person that's having the most fun at football games <laughs> so it's very worth all the sweat and like yeah. yeah, no tears. I, yeah. <laughs> no tears, maybe on a lost day. Though. Just sweat. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, well, we are so excited to have you here, Sierra. Thank you for <laughs> revealing the behind the scenes secrets of Buster Bronco. And uh, don't forget the game, the home opener, coming yeah. up this Saturday. Saturday 2 p.m., yes. Sierra will probably be there. Oh yeah, not, you will. Not in costume as Buster. <laughs> yes. She'll be there as I'll a fan. She'll look like that.